Alrighty, I'm at the top of Mont Tremblant and I'm dropping into the Nansen, which is the longest trail here at Mont Tremblant. It's a green run, and first I had to take the Crete down to the Nansen. So this is a good run to start on, to get warmed up. This is my first run of the day. So why not start on the longest trail here at Mont Tremblant at about six kilometers. Not very steep at all. But after a two hour drive, it's a good idea to get warmed up on this trail. And it's just cool to see how long the longest trail here is. So over to my right, I continue on with the Nansen. And then essentially I just stay right all the way to the bottom. So I believe this is Nansen Hot and this is Nansen which is the blue run. And like I said, I'm just staying right all the way down. I started out on the north face today on the north side. That's where I'm parked. And now I'm dropping down to the village on the south side. And this trail just meanders all the way down. Not very fast, but uh, that's okay. In the Ottawa region where I'm from, the longest descents are found at Mont Saint Marie. And this place is almost double Mont Saint Marie. Starting to get a bit of a view off to the left. It's about 9 a.m. right now. Just getting my day started. Hopefully, we get some uh, clear skies later and some views off the top because I know it's quite beautiful here in the Laurentides. Nice side hits. Oh yeah, this is fun. Try and ski some glades today. I don't want to go straight for the glades. There you go. A little bit steeper through there. This is my second time skiing at Mont Tremblant. There's a nice view. Beauty. Gotta push to keep your speed through here. Definitely no braking. Stay to the right. I could go through there, but I'm going to take the high line just for some added fun. Got 
got my car stuck in the snow last night and I was pushing a snowblower after that for about two hours after I pushed my car out. So my quads are a bit tight right now. I'm enjoying this nice trail here right now. This is great. So I guess this is a good trail to skin up as well, if you're into that kind of thing. It did cost me 150 bucks to ski here today. I can see why people would skin up. Stay to the right. Well, this is a pretty uh, steep pitch for a green. Not too hard for an experienced skier, but I could see a beginner just taking off like a rocket through here. That almost makes me wonder if I took the wrong turn. Exhibit A. Ah, it's mellowed out through here again. Even the black runs here, they tend to bench out a lot like this. So it's difficult for snowboarders to keep their speed through here. Ah, my legs are actually getting a little tired. Turns out I'm still on the right trail, so a little bit of steep on this run. Like I would have said that pitch back there where I got some speed was a blue pitch. At least it would have been in the Ottawa region. Getting down to the village now. Got some condos over there, which I'm sure are terribly expensive to rent. people skinning up to the top. That's pretty cool. Uh, you don't see as many people skinning in the Ottawa area. The hills just aren't big enough. Mont St. Marie is where people do the most skinning in the region. And for reference, that's about two hours from here. And that's a 1200 foot hill. This 
mountain is just so well developed compared to what I'm used to. Like, really cool. And now we're headed down into the infamous Mont Tremblant village. Lots of places to spend your money here. And I think I'm going to take the Gandhi up. Oof. Busy, busy. Lots of people. Okay, that's it for uh, the Nansen. Until next time, ski good trails. <laughs>